James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is June 7th, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had Sunspot AR3327 develop a magnetic complex delta class field which means it's ripe for large solar flares. It has just expelled a solar flare towards Earth. It came in as an M4.67 a fairly large M flare and it lasted for at least 20 minutes. We get you some more information on this but this again sunspot has become more complex and we should expect more flaring from it as it becomes more earth facing now it's definitely somewhat earth facing currently and this solar flare most definitely generated a coronal mass ejection that is currently earth bound so it all occurred right before 12 utc time as we can see here this is that actual solar flare 3327 and you can clearly see that it's earthbound and it definitely looks like it created a coronal mass ejection i.e. plasma that will be inbound in about 40 hours now here is 3327 remember this was taken five hours prior to the explosion so the sunspot would have moved a little bit further to the right and be a little bit further more earth facing what do we have on our sun right now well we have four five six seven eight named sunspots and this is the sunspot that was most definitely responsible for the huge flare we saw yesterday now you would never guess it by the NOAA's KP index breakdown or forecast from June 7th, 8th and 9th. They still have just that one geomagnetic disturbance that we talked about yesterday. This has not been updated. I would personally expect June 9th to be updated uh, to actually reflect a geomagnetic storm, maybe even June 8th. Maybe we'll have a double whammy, the glancing blow that Noah NASA told us to expect, plus this large flare and associated CME could become a cannibal CME as the timing looks just about perfect. That would be a bad situation. On Alaska, we see a large explosion. This was closer to 6 UTC time. And then out the side there, we're going to see something closer to 8 UTC time. Probably the sunspot coming around. Another large explosion. But I don't see anything right at noon. It looks like that M flare, and I don't see a halo either. So not only did the x-rays hit goes we also had x-ray absorption on the planet that caused shortwave radios and marine radios to actually lose the ability to transmit and that was mostly over the african area as you'll see here here comes that rather strong m flare a 4.67 according to noaa now, NASA came in at a 4.5. Maybe they're rounding the number. But you can see it's a fairly long-term event. The flare starts at about 11.15 and actually continues to about, well, we'll say, wow, a very long time goes right back into another flare. Well, it continues for quite some time, and we are running a C-plus baseline again. 
so you can see it really never lets up uh, it does look like it finally subsides before the sun is directly pointed over the u.s the caribbean and south america we will take a look at that event there at 193 angstroms as you can see, it was pretty long-term, maybe a double M flare. I don't know what looks like it does. Uh, on our GOES X-ray chart. But in our STO movie here, which is, wow. It's like it was busy there, and then it pops again. Over 171 angstroms. This is 3327 coming around. You can see how active it is. And then... It should start really come there it goes becoming active and there's the flare and it continued uh, when does this cut off I guess is the question well let's take a look over here on the sixth on the seventh doesn't cut off till 1500 UTC time today on the 7th so that was a very long M flare let's take another look at that they might not be giving us the proper information based on what we've seen and looking back at the sunspot we can see that it dissipated over a very long period of time and really didn't get back into place until about 1530 UTC time where we continue to maintain that C baseline based on looking at STO 191 171 angstroms I believe that this C 7.09 also was generated by the AR 3327 the newly complex sunspot so it's been active today those are actually two fairly strong solar flares that most definitely will be expelling coronal mass ejections towards earth i doubt they're modeled but when we do our update this evening i'm sure we'll be able to see that that will be the case again remember that nasa called for a glancing blow later tonight or into tomorrow it may or may not get caught up with this and become a cannibal CME. We'll have to wait and see, as always. With that said, God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.